The goal of the MARC program is to take undergraduate students from underrepresented backgrounds and help them become better scientists so that they can become competitive for research programs at the graduate level. The MARC program is uh, one of the major grants offered by NIH, National Institute of Health. The Rutgers uh, MARC program is uh, first in New Jersey and the only in the region. In the MARC program, we take students for their last two years of their undergraduate training and we give them research experiences. We provide them with tuition, we provide them with a stipend, a monthly stipend that they can use to forego working part-time jobs that are unrelated to their research training. The unique thing too about Rutgers University Camden, the selling point has always been that we're a smaller campus that allows one-on-one -on -one interaction with your faculty members. That's just an inherent thing about Rutgers Camden, but now we actually have the funding to be able to give research experiences to the undergraduates in a way that really is a training program to make them even more competitive. So if a student's interested in becoming a scientist, Rutgers Camden is the place to do it. It's actually one of my biggest goals in life to like go for a PhD and the SMART program just like helps me in getting there and preparing me for that. The MARC prog program definitely helps me being in the lab, becoming like trained with di different techniques. Not only that, we have our own project, which we get to work on. I'm doing thyroid hormone metabolism, so how like the body metabolizes thyroid hormones. By studying these thyroid hormones, we can possibly introduce like a new insight for people to develop new therapy to treat hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. The specific experiment we're working on is disturbing uh, sleep in larvae. My specific job for this experiment would be mechanical nociception, which is basically uh, taking a von Frey hair and probing the larvae and seeing a reaction. I work with uh, fruit flies, so Drosophila, um, and we look at their photoperiodic behavior. If we can identify how this is affecting the fruit flies, we eventually want to move on to humans and see like what kind of health related issues arise in like the shift workers. And my research in this lab, uh, the Klein lab, has been um, to study the interaction between this one bacteria, Colobacter crescentis, and a virus that infects the bacteria known as CR30. Studying the interactions between bacteria and viruses is very important because um, certain diseases, human-related um, diseases that are caused by bacteria could potentially be treated by infecting those bacteria with viruses that would kill the bacteria and thus stop the disease. I want to go into microbiological research, so I sort of joke sometimes that the uh, work I'm doing right here in the lab is pretty much the work I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. Um, so yeah, the experience I'm having right now directly will help me in my future career. For me, I came from a low-income background. I didn't know anybody who had a PhD. I didn't know what having a PhD meant. And so one of the other aspects of this is that because Rutgers Camden has a large percentage of low-income students, we're really trying to show them this world of what being a researcher is like. Getting research experience is extremely important for undergraduate students. Even if you're not interested in a future career in research, just helping uh, develop this critical thinking and problem-solving skills is just extremely helpful. Research experience is a package of a lot of skills that employers are looking for. These research programs actually come out of my own desire. I wish I had this opportunity when I was in undergraduate. 